So, on my last video, gentleman responded the most clickbait headline ever. Man, that's impressive, considering all the uh, all the clickbait headlines out there are bombarded with every day. Well, I had the biggest one ever. So, I was quite proud of that achievement. It was a new milestone for me. So, I decided that what better way to challenge myself than to create an even bigger clickbait headline. So, this topic is nuclear war is winnable. So, just waiting for the actually crowd to jump in here, just like everyone's always so quick to talk about the Poseidon weapon system, which I'm going to do a whole separate video about that. But it's funny when I'm continuously quoted about what about Poseidon? What about Poseidon? They haven't even developed warheads for Poseidon yet. They just developed the delivery system. Nobody knows the true capability, so forget about the 2018 videos that uh, you know Putin released, which propaganda. Um, you know, during the Cold War, if anything, people tried to downplay the capabilities. Anytime you're really going over your way to upplay your capabilities, you're really usually trying to compensate for something. Having said that, the only people that really know aren't going to be answering. Then again, maybe not, because we just had a giant leak of documents onto a Minecraft Discord server of all things. So what does anybody really know in this world? So nuclear war is winnable. Why do I say that? I say that because nuclear war, nuclear, nuclear war, because again, I'll have the people jump on and say, you're pronouncing it wrong. You call yourself an expert. I've never called myself an expert. If anything, I've always said, well, I haven't said much of anything except for the fact that I am not an analyst or in the defense industry. So just leave it at that. Could go into how badly the analysts predicted the Ukraine conflict. Um, could go into how badly people in the defense industry uh, botched certain things. Our own military thought there was no chance the United Kingdom could have been victorious against Argentina in the Falklands War. And we see how that played out. But again, it's all speculation until it happens. We can talk about nuclear war and all these different capabilities. When was the last time an ICBM with actual active warheads were t was tested? See if you can answer that question, because you'll probably be surprised. And for good reason uh, why it's not going to be what people think. So now there's models, there's simulations. This is one simulation. This is not the be all end all. This really only simulates the effect on different warhead detonations. So as we go through and do this stuff, can the United States do a first strike? Could Russia retaliate? It's not really meant to be an accurate model of that stuff. It does present some level of an overview to say that even if these things did happen, this could still happen in response. And that's where the importance is. It's not about what will happen. It's about under the certain circumstances, what is going to happen or what could happen under the certain circumstances. I just contradicted myself, but that's all right. Cause you know, as I said, I like to consider myself the Bob Ross of nuclear war. And uh, so I've kind of been different not taking real specific takes. I don't try to get political or anything, although I did, um, I did notice a couple people unsubscribed when I did my last video. And I think because of the Joe Biden and Vladimir Putin um, on the thumbnail and people probably jumped to their own conclusions. So I have the um, pro one side knocking me for underplaying Russians, uh, the Russian capabilities. And I have the other side knocking me for um, upplaying it. So I don't know how you both up and down play at the same time. And there's also some tremendously highly intelligent people, I might add, that, you know, 
A said they like my AC ASMR like voice. Can't blame them there. I'm a remarkable guy. So that's why Vladimir uh, calls me every couple weeks, actually. Gets my advice on stuff. Um, you know, and, you know, Biden, he doesn't. So maybe I am a little skewed towards Putin because, hey, you know, even if I don't agree with all of his actions, you know, Vladdy, you know, loves to hit me up. I got to appreciate that. You know, Biden, I just don't know. So, have we said that all aside? Why do I say nuclear, nuclear war is winnable? I say that because we think of it in terms of the United States versus, versus Russia, or the United States versus China, or China and Russia versus the United States, or NATO versus Russia and China, or all these different combinations of multiple warheads and everything going off at once and it's not mindful of the fact that there's a lot of countries that have nuclear weapons um, and they're not always going to be having the same capabilities so what happens if the hundred year war decides to replay itself in a modern world and you know France is stopped, tired of being in the butt of jokes and um, they decide you know what we really just can't stand these British United Kingdomers and we're going to uh, we're going to show them who's boss so maybe that's a more viable option um, much less travel time so they probably could conceivably do something closer to a first strike. So let's see what happens if they catch Britain off guard and decide, you know what, we're just gonna do this. Sorry, my wife is texting me, asking me, because what we wanted for dinner tomorrow night is not available at the market. So she's asking me what my choice is between two things. So I'm trying to text and do this video at once, and I'm not doing a good job at either one. So anyways, they did their hit, and people were like, well, they'd never be able to do that. Blah, blah, blah. Well, let's just say they can, all right? Just testing out what they can. So now they did their hit. The United Kingdom's like, all right, you did this, you turkeys. So they're gonna hit off with what remains of their stuff. And they're just gonna go 100% civilian because they've already been hit hard. So they're not gonna mess around. They, you know, they probably don't have the capability to hit a, put a big dent. So what happens? What happens is in this particular scenario, they are able to hit back. They have, you know, the um, United Kingdom's nuclear force is all sub-based. Um, in certain scenarios, they're able to, you know, not every sub is always out on deployment. So they did have one that was deployed. Another was caught in port and destroyed. Let's run the little casualty calculator. Let's see what happens. So, United Kingdom, 12 million casualties. France, 5 million casualties. Don't know if France has anything left remaining. Oops, didn't mean to do that. I gotta check that. Let's go back to France. Let's just say that they're gonna go 100% now. So if they have anything remaining, they're gonna do it. So we're gonna run through this, be very quick. Now, let's just have a good time. 
Add up the cash release in the United Kingdom, 23.2 million, France, 5.1 million. There's some others from the fallout. So, see the fallout in Britain, the United Kingdom, the fallout in France. So, by all stretches, this would be a victory for France. It would certainly be a very costly victory. I ran this several times. Most of the time, France actually gets away with far less casualties. That's why I said it's a simulation. You can get different things. It would depend on where the British nuclear nuclear subs are. Well, you know, that would also probably depend on what level of tension there is. But so they did suffer what would be considered unacceptable casualties. Having said that, at least in immediate casualties. Mind you, as unacceptable this is, you're looking at less casualties that are in World War II uh, for a lot of nations. Um, so, is it winnable? Yes, under terms of warfare, it is winnable, depending on the combatants and everything. Does that mean it's viable? No, there's a big difference between winnable and viable. So whereas I'm saying nuclear, nuclear war can be winnable, it's still not viable because we saw that other nations were suffering casualties you know different bases where people are fallout huge ramification as fallout migrates with wind patterns and this is all on no other nation decides they want to get in on the fun so winnable not viable so there's my shit posting take on this. This is dedicated to those people that like to jump on and do their thing. And I appreciate you guys. Like I said, everybody that comments, I appreciate it. You're taking time to comment on one of my videos. It's a big honor. Um, so I do, uh, I do appreciate it. And I uh, hope everybody has a great day, great evening. For those in the United States, this is Easter weekend. A lot of people are going to uh, spend it with their families. And some people don't celebrate it. So either way, you know, um, some people have to work through the weekend. I myself work all the time. So everyone's uh, a little bit different. Please enjoy yourselves. Stay safe. And let's continue to hope that all this is, stays in the realm of simulation and we never experience it. So good night.